Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing a Korean skincare product, and this is the Ilion Ceramide Addo Lotion. So this is the lotion version. This is actually less popular than the cream version of this. So this, there's actually a cream version of this, and I do have it. But for today's video, I'm just going to be reviewing this product. Um, I'm from the Philippines, by the way, so I actually order my, uh, I actually order these products from Shopee. So I'm going to be linking the link down below to where I got this. So let's start off with what this is. So this is a moisturizer and this is something that you can use on your face and this is something that you can use on your body anywhere it's going to work. I personally use it during the daytime because it's lightweight. I'm going to be showing you the texture of this first so you'll understand why it's a little bit more appropriate to use this in the morning. It's actually not focusing, is it? It's actually really lightweight. I have watched some reviews on YouTube, and I'm not sure if they reformulated the product, but this is actually a little bit lighter than the reviews that I've watched. Nonetheless, this is actually a pretty good moisturizer. Um, what are the key ingredients in this, and what makes this a good moisturizer? This has... Um, ceramide. It actually only has one type of ceramide. It is a pseudo ceramide, not the type of ceramide that you can you can um, get from CeraVe where, where there are three types of ceramides. This is actually a type of ceramide that they create in a lab as opposed to um, deriving it from something. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's pretty good actually. If I were to rate this, probably a four out of five. My only gripe with this one is that it actually leaves quite of an oily film on the skin. But I don't mind that because I actually use I actually use powder on my face so that doesn't really bother me. And I've used this at night and that's my only gripe with this one is that I do use this sometimes at nighttime and it does leave that oily residue. It is something that you might or might not like. For me I don't care for it. It's a little too oily and makes me a little shiny, but if you want that sort of shiny look on your on your face, then go with it. You might you might like this as a night cream, but for my night cream, I usually use the cream. The cream version is a lot more matte. I'm thinking of showing you the cream, might as well. This is the cream version. This actually leaves a matte finish to the skin. It does not leave an oily residue or oily film like this one does. Um, so I'm going to show you the finish of this. I think you're, I think you'll be able to see it. It is a little bit oily. So this one leaves more of a matte finish. Oh, there's a dog. Yeah, this one leaves a little bit more of a matte finish to it. So it's pretty good during the nighttime, so that I won't look a little too greasy. Yeah, um, if you want to buy this, this is still pretty good. The great thing about the cream is it's actually pretty large. There's 350 milliliters of product in here, so you're going to get a lot. This is going to last me, I would say, probably close to a year. I mean, I don't even use a lot of this. I only use this much. I'm going to show you. I use that amount for my face in the morning because I don't want to use, uh, you might, that's not, yeah, it's pretty runny. As you can see, it is going down by virtue of gravity because of how, you know, how watery and less viscous that is as compared to the cream version. That is already enough. Um, and of course, you know, you're going to want to use sunscreen after you put your moisturizer. Um, during the daytime, by the way, this costs like 6.20. It actually depends on where you buy it from, but from the shop that I got it from, it was 6.20, not 6.50, 6.20 pesos. So, I'm paying for your buck because you're not, because it lasts a long time. Like I said, if you if you're gonna compare that to like the Celtech, which we have here, very popular. That normally I've used that for a long time during my senior high school days. That lasted me, that would usually last me like one and a half months. And that's like for 150, for 
50 milliliters. So if you do the math, um, one and a half month would be like eight. Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> I had to grab a calculator in order to like really figure out, well, 12 divided by 1.5 is eight. So in an entire year, you're going to have to purchase eight of that. And uh, one product of that cell tech, which I don't have right now because I don't use it anymore, one product of that would be, uh, it actually costs 150 pesos, one product. So you're going to have to purchase eight for an entire year, and that's going to cost you 1,200. Whereas this, I believe, will last me a year. Albeit, it act I only use this like once a day. That's why I approximate it to a year. But... I still feel like this is a lot cheaper at the end of the day if you do the math and kind of compare it relative to how long it lasts compared to the moisturizers that you get that seem cheap but actually if you kind of think about the amount of time that you use it the duration of the product and how long it lasts you it's actually a lot more expensive than this so if you want to use this i think it's actually a really good product nonetheless it's not irritating i mean that could be that could be the case from the majority of people but i can't certain that that's not going to be the case for you. I can't certainly that's going to be the case for you. You just got to try it for yourself because anything can be irritating. So yeah, that's just going to be my review. I'm probably going to be uploading this. Let's see. I'm probably going to start my own YouTube channel. Who knows? And you could be the first one watching it.